Hey guys, Moran Poberi, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the one thing that can grow your business 100 times. Let's get to it. And yeah, don't forget, subscribe, comment below, like this video, share with a friend. This channel is all about buying businesses, growing businesses. So if you want to learn more about that, subscribe and let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want me to post about and just ask any questions you have, feel free. So yeah, what's that one thing that can grow your business 100 times? And the answer in a nutshell is access to capital. I don't care how rich are you or how much money you have in your bank account. There's only so much you can use with your own private um, capital and, and money and wealth in order to grow. And I mean, just, just look at the richest people out there in the world. They're using other people's money in order to grow their wealth. And that's what I want to talk to you about in this video, because in the end of the day, if you want to grow as fast as possible and to just scale your business with pretty much no limits, it's just a matter of you access to having access to more capital. I know people in the private equity space and I had a conversation with one of the largest private equity firms out there and his conversation with me was basically, hey, Moran, look, the only thing that's holding us back from scaling even more is just access to more capital. So all I'm doing all day is raising capital. And I'm talking about a business that combined with all the businesses that they bought is doing like 600 million in, in revenues. And the main thing that the CEO is doing is out there raising capital. So that's what you should do. I don't care what business you have. You should pretty much, especially if you're in the space of buying businesses and you want to buy businesses and grow in this space, the only two things you should focus on is building more deal flow and raising capital. Like literally, deal flow and capital. If you know how to do those things, you can scale pretty much forever. Now, the capital I'm talking about is equity capital, which means capital you go out and get from investors, basically private individuals who trust you and trust your project and trust your deals. I'm not talking about institutional money that is raised on assets. Basically, I'm not talking about debt financing that you're using some kind of assets to raise capital on. I'm talking about individuals putting their own capital into your deals. One of the best things you can do for whatever business you're at, especially if you want to get into the space, is building yourself a network of investors, of private individuals who will eventually trust you and your deals. And obviously, if you are able to bring them good returns, they will bring in more investors and you can grow basically your network that way. The, the best thing you can do is start to build your network as soon as possible. Even if you don't have any deal you look at yet, start to build your network with people. So when you have a deal, you have network of investors, you can literally send your deals to and just close those deals as soon as possible. And the best thing you can do is start with people you know. I don't care who you are, what's your network, you probably know a few people with at least 20, 30, 50 grand to invest. And remember, if you have 10 people each put in 50 grand, that's 500,000 you can work with and buy really big businesses. I'm talking, you can probably buy a 5 million a year, a 5 million a year in sales business with like 500,000 in equity. So I don't care what your network or who you think you know, you probably have a network that you can use much more. Even if you think, hey, I don't know any wealthy individuals, you probably know people who can put in like 20, 30, 50 grand into your deal. So definitely use that and start to put yourself out there. Most of those, especially people who know you already and trust you, all you need to do right now is just find a good deal and give them the opportunity to invest in your deals. Now, attracting investors, it's like any skill you want to build in life. It's just the more you do it, the better you become. The more presentations you'll do in front of investors, the, the better you'll be. And to bring the first investor is going to be the hardest. Your first presentation is going to be the, the most challenging, like anything in life. You know, first thing you do, anything in life is going to be difficult at first. But the more you're going to do it, the better you'll become and the more money you'll be able to bring to your deals and then just scale faster. One of the best things you can do is go out there, literally just Google network. There are so many networks of investors and just put yourself out there as an investor. Start to become a peer with those investors and get access to their deal flow as well while you giving them the opportunity to see your deal flow. So it's better to act as a peer, as someone who's already an investor as well versus coming from someone who, who just don't even know what he's doing and just asking for money. It's always better to come and say, hey, I'm, I'm an investor. So even if you're not, just put yourself out there as an investor. I think it's much better for you to present yourself that way. That's how you basically tell them, hey, I'd love to hear what kind of deals you have and I'll share with you deals that I have when I have good opportunities. 
And like anything in life, I think as well, it's numbers game. Life is a numbers game. The more you're going to talk to, obviously be prepared to get no's, but it's like a funnel. You're going to start with many people. Many will say no, but then you'll come to a core group of people, investors who believe in you, believe in your deal. And many times all you need is just one, two, three good investors who believe in you to really scale fast. And remember, when you meet those investors, especially people you don't know where you need to sell yourself, like act as a part, you know, be on time, obviously, for meetings, dress apart. Talk about, uh, I guess, who you are, your experience, your background. All those things will help you when you want to move closer to, uh, I guess, raising money from them. So remember, it's not just selling your deal. It's about selling yourself, selling who you are, who you believe, what your values are. You as a person, you as a serious person, you as someone who who's, who have a word, who's basically, who is honest, who is transparent. So it's really, really important that you have like the first good impression with everyone you meet, especially if you want to raise capital from them. I think one of the most important things is you really also need to know your deal. So don't come with them with like half-assed information. You really need to understand your sector, your industry, your deal, what you're expecting to get back to them. Like really, you need to know everything about the deal when you're going to talk to them. Now, it's really important when you approach investors, don't, don't put them in a rush to invest. At the same time, you do need to put some kind of a, a time limit for them to invest. So I think you need to find the balance between showing them, hey, I'm not in a rush to get your money. I'm not, I don't need that money right now. At the same time, give them the feeling or the, the, the attitude of, hey, I, if you really want to get into this opportunity, you need to decide fast. Otherwise, I'm just going to go with other investors or we're just going to do the deal without you. Also with investors or, or just anything, it's like a sales process. See, see raising capital as like a sales process. You need to go follow up, stay in touch with them, create maybe some kind of an email list where you always send updates on you, your progress, your deals, always follow up. Many times people you're gonna approach now and build your connections with now might not invest in your deals initially. Might, they might invest in your deal one or two years from now. So it's, you gotta be in touch with them. Always add value to them, always show them your progress always show them what you've been up to and always give them more opportunity to get into your deals even if it's not your first one and yeah remember with investors or anything in life it's about momentum it's about getting your first investor and then you'll see they'll approach their friends they'll tell their friends to come to their deal because i mean everyone who's finding good opportunities to invest he want to share it with good friends want to share it with them and tell them hey look i got this awesome opportunity and i can bring you in as well so remember get your first investor and then everyone will come in uh, literally just from that they will share with your friends then you can use that investors as someone who already believe in you and after you get the first one it's just a matter of putting yourself out the more remember build that funnel where you approach many and then obviously some will say no but all you need is just few good investors to do amazing deals and you can grow really really fast so yeah i hope you like this short video if you want to hear more subscribe comment below let me know what you think share it with a friend and Many of you message me and I, I'm going to, I guess, mention it in every video now because many of you are messaging me and, and asking me about the opportunity to watch our back and see how we do deals and learn from us. If you want, you can do that. Um, I mean, we obviously pick a few specific people every now and then to watch our back and do deals with, with us and then we share equity with them. Or we also have the option for you to passively invest into our deal. If you don't want to work and look for deals and all that, you just want to put your money and get some kind of return from our work. See the description below, get in touch and I'll see you soon.